Hey guys, this is Brian with Simple Man's Comics in collaboration with Comic Book Speculation and Investing. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys about Image Comics that you can put out right now in the month of December that will be releasing in February of 2017. These comics are going to come right out of December's previous catalog, which is what I've shown on the screen. Also remember, by getting those pre-orders in, you can save anywhere from 20 to 50% off the cover price. Having said all that, let's go ahead and get this started. First up, we have Curse Words number two. This is part two of the Devil's Devil story arc. Have the first one on pre-order already. Hasn't come out yet. Look forward to picking this up and reading it. It's written by Charles Sewell. Also, be aware there's a cover B for this, which is by Chip Zdarsky. God Country number two. As Emmett Quinlan attempts to rebuild his family and his home after the devastating tornado that broke them, something otherworldly screams to the sky under a banner of war. Gods have come to Texas. It doesn't look like they intend to leave empty-handed. I have a first issue of this pre-order as well. It hasn't come out yet. Normally, if there's a new comic I'm interested in, I'll at least pick it up through the story, the first story arc. So I have added this to my pre-order list. Also, there's a cover B for this by Gerardo or Gerardo Zaffino. Green Valley number five. This is number five of nine. It's an absolutely fantastic comic. If you haven't been reading it, I advise you guys to pick it up. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, King Arthur, those type of fantasy tales, this is right up your alley. Either way, it's a great story. It's written by Max Landis. I'd love to see it turned into a movie. If you're not aware, Max Landis is currently working with Robert Kirkman to remake American Werewolf London movie. Kill or Be Killed number 6. Here we are in the second story arc of this comic and it doesn't seem to be slowing down one bit. Ed Brubaker's doing a fantastic job. I look forward to picking this comic up month after month. Also, Every other issue of this comic has been going back for multiple printings. This comic's absolutely fantastic. I can't say enough about it. I'll continue to add it to my pre-order list. Loose Ends number two. This is issue number two of a four-issue mini. It's written by Jason Latour. I'm really looking forward to this. I had the first issue on pre-order as already. So, in the wake of the worst night of their lives, Sonny and Cherry are wanted and on the run. Vicious drug cartels and crooked cops lie in wait on the road before them. But tonight... It's the past that looms largest in the rearview mirror. Monstrous number 10. This is another great comic that hasn't stopped since issue 1. Continues to garner praise from everyone in the comic industry and readers alike. Great story. Great comic. Great art. This is one to pick up if you guys haven't been reading it yet. Moonshine number 5. Now I like me some moonshine, especially apple pie moonshine. And I do like this comic. Speaking of which, this is the penultimate issue to the first story arc. If you like Prohibition, if you like mobsters, if you like werewolves, there's a comic to pick up. I'm continuing to do so. Be aware there's also a cover B for this issue by Juan Doe. Old Guard number one. This is a new series from Image Comics. It's written by Greg Sucka, I mean Rucka, and Leandro Fernandez. Here it takes place in a world of immortality where immortality is a hard secret to keep. When you live long enough, you learn that there are many fates worse than death. New series. Looks like an interesting read. Not a huge fan of the writer. Either way, I'm going to pick this up see what it's about. Reborn number five. Unless you've been pretty much living under a rock, you should be aware of this comic already. Written by Mark Millar. Some of the best covers and definitely some of the best interior work by Greg Capullo. He's probably one of the best interior artists in the comic industry today. Been enjoying this comic. Past two issues have kind of slowed down for me a bit, but I'm going to continue to add this to my pre-order list. Be aware also there's a subscription cover for this by Greg Capullo, and there's also a 1 in 100 incentive cover by Greg Capullo as well. Revival number 47. I have this on here because this is the final issue to this comic series. Tim Silly did absolutely great work on this. I enjoyed reading it. A few years ago, it was being shopped around for a TV show. Although it never really got picked up, a lot of new TV shows that came on afterwards copied the premise of this comic. Either way, I'm sorry to see it go, and I'm adding it to my pre-order list. Southern Bastards number 18. This is written by Jason Aaron. This is an awesome comic, especially if you like movies such as Roadhouse, Walking Tall, if you like anything down taking place down south, if you like football, and you like violence. Either way, this is a comic that's well worth the pick up. It tends to have an, a hiatus every now and then, but it's well worth the wait, and I'm continuing to add this to my pre-order. Also be aware there is a one-for-one -one variant for this by Fiona Staples. Some Bakery number one. This is a new anthology comic from Image Comics this month that has stories such as Dream Skills, which is social swordplay in the big city, 
Bat Rider, which is paranormal skateboarding with a hint of romance, and Aram, space exploration with a social media twist. It's written and drawn by Corey Lewis. Here's the thing, though. It's new from Image this month, but it was previously released by Press Gang in April of 2016. Not only that, but when it was released, there was a 1 in 25 Paul Pope variant that came out with it. So if you're going to be looking for it, that's the comic to look for. So we get two issues of Walking Dead in the month of February. We're going to have Walking Dead number 163 and 164. Starting a new story arc after Whisperer Wars. Story arc is called Conquered. Also, one thing to note, issue 163 is only going to be 25 cents, celebrating the 25th anniversary of Walking Dead. So that's going to wrap up my picks for Image Comics and December's previous catalog. Remember, these comics will be coming out in February of 2017. If you feel there's a title I might have missed, please comment because we'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button so we know we're doing a good job. And as always, if you want to continue to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. On top of that, share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. That's all I got for you this time, guys. This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics in collaboration with Comic Book Speculation and Investing. Until next time. <laughs>